each day. We need constantly to redefine our aim. This is because the very sense of our work, our right effort, gets lost along the way. We forget that what is necessary is to recognize and relate two different levels in ourselves. We do not see the simultaneous movements outward toward manifestation and inward toward a reality at the source, two kinds of vibrations. Always I nourish the feeling of my ordinary I, clinging blindly to the first movement, the vibration that draws me outward. I am taken by my activity of the moment and believe that in this vibration lies the affirmation of myself. In this identification, I am lost in one or another part of myself, unconscious of the whole. So my effort is to remember myself. We are subject to identification under the laws of this world, but because we do not recognize it and do not know another possibility, we submit and are taken by it. We cannot escape unless we see that it is a state of sleep and we awake to another life in ourselves, a higher reality in ourselves. For this we must first know a state that is of a different quality than what we experience all the time. This is possible only in work in the quiet in conditions that are free from the demands of outer life. In order to concentrate, my thought engages solely with the question of I, and all my parts are attentive to knowing my existence. Only one thing counts. I exist. I know I exist. I can exist. I wish to exist. Nothing else matters. Because I know I exist, I know that everything around me exists. Everything rises and falls, appears and disappears. Yet behind these movements, something remains still, unchanging. I must become conscious of it not staying on the surface, but concentrating as deeply as possible at a level I can hardly penetrate, much less remain. I wish for this knowledge. I have a wish for what I can know here. It is stronger than everything else. It is a conscious wish to hear the sound that is I to hear it resonate in myself. Each day I have to give as much time as it takes, sometimes more, sometimes less, to come to a clear perception of an inner presence, a life in me that is much higher than my body. I need to know this presence as something really existing not merely a possibility that I sometimes touch. I can come to it if I am actively passive, quiet enough for an energy of another quality to appear, to be contained in me. This is a state of deep letting go, where the functions are maintained in passivity. I let my functions come into my presence. I do not go into them. They come into me. Only the attention is active. An attention coming from all the centers. I need to find this presence again and again until I know it as a reality that I cannot doubt. 
this certain reality will become the foundation on which I can base my work. If I return each day to something absolutely sure, which I understand and of which I am convinced, I will see the way, the direction that will allow me to know how I am living. I will see myself enclosed in the narrow circle of my wishes and interests taken by life. Yet by experiencing myself each day in another state, outside this circle, I will recognize that in reality I can escape, and I may even see that the circle does not exist. <laughs>